Thanks for joining us. This is the sixth incident involving a United flight since Monday of last week. No one noticed the panel was missing until after the plane had landed. It had taken off from San Francisco with nearly 150 on board and made it to Medford, Oregon without any sort of issues. But nonetheless, this is alarming. ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell spoke with an aviation expert about whether passengers should be concerned about this. Friday, another problem for a United Airlines flight involving a Boeing plane. This time, a flight from SFO losing an external panel. Well, having things fall off jetliners is not our favorite methodology. <laughs> it uh, is in any way, form, or fashion rare and, uh, and troublesome. John Nance is an ABC News aviation analyst, and he's referring to United Flight 433, the plane taking off just before 10.30 this morning, landing in Medford, Oregon just before noon. It's there where crews discovered the missing panel. Did somebody fail to close something, uh, which would have been a human factors? Uh, did it was it fatigue, or uh, do we have a situation here that was somehow in maintenance? Uh, those questions will all have to be answered. In a statement, United says it will thoroughly examine the plane and perform repairs and conduct an investigation to know how the damage occurred. Boeing saying in an email it's deferring comment to United about the carrier's fleet operation, also including some information about the Boeing 737-800, which has been in operation for 25 years. You know, one of the questions I've been asked so many times over the years is how long can a jetliner stay in service? Indefinitely. We've got B-52s now that uh, are older, literally, than any aircraft commander flying them in the Air Force. As for the 139 passengers and six crew members on board, they likely weren't at any risk. I don't think we had any real danger here in the air. We had danger of anybody who something might fall on that came off an aircraft. That's always a big concern. It's a big concern for the FAA as well as all of us. The incident comes on the heels of a handful of mishaps with United flights in the last few weeks, including a wheel falling off a flight departing from SFO. But the experts say would-be passengers shouldn't be worried. It's not only safe to fly, it's so much safer than even driving to and from the airport. And that's not just statistically true, it really is true. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.